Welcome back everyone. Today we are going to calculate taxable income and income tax. So before we can do that, I want us to look at the steps for calculating taxable income and then afterwards we calculate income tax. So when we have our gross salary, let's say we have our monthly gross salary, there are certain deductions that we must make on the gross salary that is pension, UIF and donations, and that depends on the question. So in the question that we're gonna to do today, we only have pension as our deduction. And then after we have the taxable income, we multiply it by 12 in order to get our annual taxable income, which is the one that we are going to use on the tax table, because we only use the annual taxable income on the tax table. So now I want us to look at our questions here. So I want us to start by doing question 6.4.1, that is for calculating annual taxable income. So let's start by reading the statement. Tabo is 40 years old and earns a gross salary of 30,000 per month, and he contributes 2,250 per month to a pension fund, and his pension fund is tax deductible, and he is a member of an approved medical scheme and he pays contributions for himself and two children. So 6.4.1 says we must calculate his taxable income. So his annual taxable income. So we said we have a gross salary of 30,000 minus the deduction, which is only pension of 2,250. And then we put it on the calculator. That is 30,000 minus 2,250. We get 27,750. This is our monthly taxable income. So we take the monthly taxable income and then times it by 12 in order to get our annual taxable income. So we get 333,000. And then we have annual taxable income. This is annual taxable income. Okay. Let me just open a bit here. Yes. And then 6.4.2 now says we need to calculate the amount of tax it must pay per annum per annum we got which is the annual taxable income and then we go to our tax table this is our tax table let me use a red pen to highlight here so we look at these two columns this first column here it says taxable income the same column says rates of tax so the one that gives us a direction or where on which tax bracket we must go is the first column of taxable income so we look at these brackets. Definitely the money that we got, the 333,000, doesn't fall on the first bracket. Neither does it fall on the second. It falls on the third one. That is 296,541 and 410,460. So this first column is for indicating where we must go. We need to copy the formula on this second column under rates of tax so we need to copy that one let me just erase a bit the top part here okay yes so we need to um, copy this one so i'm going to copy it here at sixty-one thousand. not this one So this is our formula. So now we are going to substitute into our formula. We'll have 61,910 plus 31% I'll write it as 31 over 100 and open a bracket here. And then I'm gonna write the money that I got there, which is 333,000 minus this amount, which is on this formula, this one here, minus that one which is 
296,540 and then close my bracket and then put this on the calculator. We have 73,212,60. That is comma 60 cents. So after we have this amount of text, we need to check uh, the things that we need to subtract from this money. So we go back to our text table. We have got tax rebates. So primary rebate, secondary rebate, and tertiary rebate. Everyone qualifies for primary rebate. So this person is only 40 years old. This, they're only 40 years old here, which means they only qualify for the primary rebate which is a tax relief. So it's going to be subtracted from the tax. They will not qualify for the other rebates because they are still below 65. So we minus 13,635. Again, minus, we have the tax credits. This table here of tax credits. So we are going to subtract this tax credit. So we need to check the question. It says it's in self. It's himself and two children. So he's got two dependents. So he, as the main member, qualifies for the 303. And then the first dependent, which is the first child, would qualify for 303 rents as well. And then the last one would qualify for 204. So now we need also to pay attention to the fact that these monies are monthly. They are monthly. So we are going to add all of them, that is 303 for the main member plus 303 for the first dependent plus 204. All of them time is 12. And then I'm gonna put this on the calculator. We're multiplying by 12 because they are for the whole month. So after we have subtracted all of this, we get a balance of 49,857,60 cents. So this is the annual tax. This is the annual tax that the person is supposed to pay.